West of Hales Corners, Wisconsin, the treeless prairie extends for a thousand miles to the Rockies. Growing up on this vast, barren flatland of the American psyche, it's only natural that a boy would turn inward in search of a different truth from that imposed by the bleak landscape. Hello? Where the hell are you? Our guest was ready to tape 15 minutes ago, and the show's only three minutes long! Well, see, I was... Crap! That idiot Joel is letting his book interfere with his work, and that's adding to my work. And Kevin, that cannot be. He'll be okay, Michelle. Once the red light goes on, he'll be totally focused on the show. So, Pink, in the words of the hot new group on Boyd, what's the wise? Huh? Good call, Mr. Judge of Character. Sure, you just won two Grammys, but imagine if you were opening for On Boyd. You'd be seriously hoisted to the peak. Are you okay? Hey, Catering Bazone, we've got some questions for you, and we are wall-to-wall -wall sliced. Supersize. Cut. What's going on? Huh. This guy's writing Jason's autobiography. Who's Jason? You? See, if we had books, she'd know who we are. I say we crank his cheese. Pink, this is 80% of On Boyd. On Boyd, what are you doing here? Yo, here's the corn. Give him the corn! We want to know where you get off writing a book on one of us when there's one, two, three, four, plus Jason, that makes five of us. Yeah, and I have a list of snacks I want on the tour. He's not the caterer, stupid. This Jason book wasn't my idea. Doesn't matter whose idea it was. You shouldn't have gone behind these guys' backs. How come you're on their side? You don't even know what this is about. Just go on my instincts, Bozone. Joel, sensitive scribe, mellow out. The boys weren't serious about cranking your cheese. I don't care. I want you to do something. Of course I'm going to do something. Don't you worry. Be right back, Tantra Sukasana. Who loves you, babe? I've got the perfect solution. We change it to the autobiography of all five of them. You'll be five times the star maker. Yeah, right. Get yourself another chump. I'm not asking you, Joel. Check the clause in your contract about subject matter may change. I love your ideas. I love your energy. I love you, Joel Stein. Can't wait to see that first draft. Bye. But, but, all five? Five times the interviewing? Five times the research? Hello? Hello? Wall to wall sliced. Man, what was that with Cheryl Crow? Joel was on fire. He had his show face on. Ever since he finished that book, he's been a different person. Someone you can like working with. Let's not get carried away. Look, Michelle, he's not waiting to ask you to ask me to do his research for him. My work piles up, okay? Hey, guys, thought I'd get ahead on the month a little. Papa Roach, Sammy Hagar, Ashanti, Jimmy Eat World. Did you know that Randy Newman has scored 287 movies, 12 ballets, seven operas, and one bloodless coup? Just about done with Randy. The question is why? Why this burst of energy? Because I don't know how much longer I'm going to be here. Oh no, are you dying again, Joel? You were right about those spots, Michelle. They were changing color. Yes, dying inside. Doing this book, taking the words of five distinctly different personalities and weaving them together into one single riveting voice of the band reminded me of whom I was before I settled for interviewer. Back when I was Joel Stein, rock journalist, freelance. And now that door is open again. Damn it, I feel alive, galvanized, graced with the kiss of the muse. The muse must be herped up big time. Hello? I read your lousy book, you little snot, and I want you over here now. Kevin, finish up Randy Newman, would you? I'm too depressed. First, Len stabs me in the back by turning the book into a five-way autobiography. Technically, the solo autobiography was the backstab. So speaking as a wordsmith, the term front stab would probably be... Then you stabbed all of us in the back by actually writing the damn thing. But the voice of the band. I found the voice of the band. Yeah, and the voice is saying I quit. What? Come on, guys. Will you listen a second here? Jason, tell them what they're throwing away. Talk to me. Someone. Anyone! What's going on? They're splitting up, you idiot! I thought that wasn't scheduled for like a year. What happened? Joel Stein is what happened, and this book. 
I am Joel Stein. I am the narrator. No, the conductor of the voice of the band. I'm Jeff. Mel D stole my wallet, so I stole his insulin. Super size. Mel D here. Jamie lies, can't sing or dance or be wistful. I hope he quits. I'm Jason. I'd like to meet a nice girl and get married and take out her teeth. Jeremy. Yo, I nailed Jason's mom, yo. I'm J. Hey, who used my deodorant? You think it needs some tweaks? Tweaks? They hate each other now. What did you think you were doing putting in all that stuff? But they said it, every word. Exactly. How stupid can you be? Do you understand what you've destroyed, Joel? Do you understand what might have been? If you've got dreams to sing or dance, Joel will stamp them out like so many ants With a couple of strokes of his poison pen He can bring your young career straight to its untimely end He's a dream destroyer He's a boy band unemployer He's a dream destroyer Hope you got a good lawyer At least I found out what force majeure means. What does it mean? That because the band broke up, his contract is null and void, and he doesn't get a cent. This wasn't about the money. You think I could go back to them and ask for 50 cents on the dollar, secretly willing to go to 10? I think you're lucky to be out of it and still employed here. Rolando, right? Tuck, just thought I'd tell you about my part-time job. Really? Why? Not that I'm not interested in your life. I mean, congratulations, what's the job? I'm a process server. Nick Suck, you're served. You're being sued. Um, all the greats get sued, right? So in that sense, maybe this is good news. For 45% of $25.5 billion on Boyd's estimated career earnings if you hadn't destroyed them. Oh, it's you and VH1 being sued. That's a relief. I'd have a hard time coming up with that kind of money myself. Kill me. Kill me now. Hmm. I suppose if you don't want to wait for Z to pull out your organs, we could do it. First, I won't touch intestines. Second, I don't get the 45% part. Len's cut as their manager. Supersize. Len? Supersize? That's funny. Supersize Len's the screen name of that creep in the chat room who keeps asking about my thighs. He says he's wall-to-wall -wall hoisted about them, whatever that means. Poor Len. He's going to have a pretty hard time pursuing his lawsuit now. I don't know. Prison's a great place to do legal research. Well, I'd love to sit around here boozing it up and feigning camaraderie, but my show doesn't happen by itself. Wow, Joel's really pumped. Did you finally book the Olsen twins? No, I don't get it. We have Justin Timberlake. Come on, take it. It's perfect for you. I immersed myself in your life. Why won't you read it? I don't need another autobiography. I've got six. One you can even color in. Hey, somebody wrote Justin in over these whited out names. This is a book about somebody else. What if it was? Music's music, man. Growing up on this vast, barren flatland of the American psyche, blech. You don't like? I can tweak. I live to tweak. I am the tweak meister. Give me 24 hours, it'll be a tweak a time. 